Hi everyone, this is Heather and I am from Ruby and Pearl XO. I am super excited to be here. This is my first design team project for the Graphics Fairy and I just had so much fun making this journal. I can't wait to share this flip through with you. Um, you are going to hear me gush all over the Graphics Fairy Premium website uh, a lot through this video because it was just so fun to choose from all of the amazing images that are available there. I mean, it's like a whole library of everything under the sun. So I had a really hard time um, narrowing it down to what I wanted to use because I kept printing, 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 and I'm like, oh, this is pretty, this is pretty. And I kept saying, Heather, you cannot put every image into this journal. So anyways, this is um, what I came up with. And the theme for the journal is sort of very loose theme. There's a lot of different elements in it that kind of, it's sort of a little bit eclectic, but there is um, a theme of color. And the way, the inspiration came from this time of year. I live in um, Pennsylvania in the United States, and this time of year, the sunlight is just so beautiful. It's September here, and we're about to go into our fall. And the sunlight just is so golden. There's something about the change of light during this time um, here where I live. And maybe that's the case for you too where you live. But um, yeah, so it was just so inspiring to me. I love that. I love that about the light. And so I chose like a lot of golden yellows and um, just sort of warm colors throughout the journal. And Another thing is I chose a lot of birds. You're going to see a lot, a lot of birds throughout the journal and on the Graphics Fairy Premium website, there are a ton of bird images. I mean, if you love birds, you could be, you know, using birds for days. It is just amazing. And I was just especially loving these um, swallows. So you're going to see a lot of different swallows especially throughout the journal and I even put one here on the the cover as a little dangle which I love so much um, and when you they have this section on there called printables and I did not have a whole lot of time to make this journal so I went directly to that section which is called printables and you can actually they have a lot of already designed printable sheets that you can choose from and so for example this is the sheet that has all the swallows on it and so I just cut them out and um, added a little bit of gold there to to that one and oh, I just love these and I'm telling you these are going to be on my Christmas tree this year as ornaments because I'm just sort of obsessed with them so <laughs> so anyways yeah this is um so so there's a lot of birds in here especially swallows and a lot of golden color so that's kind of like the theme and I went ahead and I sort of created this beautiful cabinet card now this image here was from the graphics fairy free website and I took one of the frames that is in one of the frame bundles because there's a bundle that has all different sorts of um, frames. So I took one of those and I layered it with this digitally. Now you, you wouldn't necessarily have to do it digitally. You could cut your frame out and layer it on top of your paper if you're not, you know, digital savvy. But if you are, it's kind of really fun. And then I took a lot of the flowers from one of the bundles and I created this bouquet on this pretty lady. Um, I just love her. So she's sort of the, she's sort of like the, the lady of the journal and she has her beautiful yellow roses, which I'm just so inspired by right now. And then this, this envelope is also from the Graphics Fairy and she has a lot of beautiful envelopes that are all ready to be printed. So here, I actually have this one. I'll show you. So for example, this one is the envelope and you just print it and cut it out and it's already designed and it's also in that printables section that I was talking about. It's truly, they are just gorgeous and I love, love these yellow flowers and that was sort of 
actually it was sort of this envelope that kind of inspired the whole color palette for this journal. I just really, really loved it. And um, on the inside here, I just, I like to seal my envelopes sometimes with washi tape because it looks cute and keeps them down, but they come out easily. So inside, I just tucked in a bunch of beautiful images. Now this is another printable with all these really sweet bird um, stamps. Aren't they cute? Oh my goodness. I feel like I'm going to use these for Christmas too. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. but And then I added a bunch of different ephemera in here. Um, and then also this is another little envelope that you can print out. And I, I just attached the bird image to the front. But this back, I love this floral. And then on the inside, I put some little words. Um, love, hope, and light. And the light is especially important for this journal because you will see a lot of references to sunshine and sunlight. And um, I just really love that whole concept. So those tuck right in that little envelope. And then all of this gets tucked tucked in here like this and then back in the envelope she goes so yeah so that is the little extra things and then um, the journal itself is let me move these kind of out of the way the journal itself is an open spine journal which I make quite often and I love just that you can see the pages peeking out and the pretty um, I added like this little sparkly gold fabric to to bind the journal. I don't know if it, it's showing on camera, but um, but yeah. And then the the top here is denim, which I took from a little girl's jean jacket. And right now I'm obsessed with denim in my artwork. I don't really know why, but I just love it. And it kind of makes me feel like again this time of year, like. You put, you put on your comfy jeans and a sweatshirt when it's cold outside, so I love that. And then um, I put a little brass swallow here, which I love. And then this is some vintage wallpaper that my mom found um, at a local store. And I just can't believe she found it because it's so hard to find. And I love this yellow rose. It's so beautiful. It looks really pretty on the cover. And then... This is um, a vintage hanky, and it was embroidered with this gorgeous, like, blue and yellow embroidery. And I put a little bit of sari there and a little patch there. And then the back is some vintage wallpaper, and it has some embossed paper and another little patch with more of the vintage wallpaper from the front. So, so yeah, so that's the back. I also constructed this journal out of an old book. So this blue that you're seeing here is the cover of, of an old book. So yeah, so let's get started with the flip through. Um, we'll open it up. And like I said, there is a lot of references to sunlight and birds. And I loved the whole concept of you know the birds are are going south for the for the winter so i used a lot of um a lot of really pretty birds in here so open it up make sure i'm in frame here and on the inside cover i chose this it's a really beautiful fabric um with this golden yellow flower just love that so much it's so pretty and I put a little belly band here with um, a cute little journaling card that I created. This is also an image from the premium website. Um, and then I took this little polka dotted piece from a vintage card. It was sort of like I had already cut out another piece of the card and then I layered that on with some old papers and this pretty pink rose. And then this is a beautiful piece of lace that I got from my friend Gabriella. Love, love the way that turned out. 
And then on the inside, this is kind of like a little tuck spot here that I put some vintage lace here. And these are also printables from the premium website that you can print out. I love the color of this one. Love that. And then these are um, artist trading cards. So there's a whole sheet of different patterns of these. And I just sort of love them for journaling card. But this is the quote that is kind of like the whole concept of the journal. And but But these are the days we dream about when the sunlight paints us gold. Isn't that just beautiful? That is just truly sums up what I was trying to sort of um, convey with this journal and the message behind all of the ephemera and colors and things that I chose to put inside. So, so yeah, so that's the first page. Oh, and then there's also this cute little dangle here that says, um, light the way and I think that we all have our own light inside of us and we need to remember that and and you know just kind of put good out into the world so then turn the page here and I put one of those beautiful swallows there and I added some really pretty like warm corally orangey sorry trim and this could actually be let me find my little I guess I'll just use this but this could be like a little tuck spot here so um so yeah you could put something there and then just put a little bit of lace there and then on this page I had used my watercolors I, I tea dyed the papers to go in the journal but I used my watercolors to kind of like create a little bit of like these warm tones I don't know if that's showing up and then I also put some gold throughout the page so I just really especially loved this page and it would just be so beautiful with with writing on there so um, just left that blank and then this is also um, a printable from the Graphics Fairy. And it is, I just created a little tuck spot to go with this beautiful swallow postcard, which is on the premium site. It's just so pretty. I love the blue. And it just reminds me of the birds flying off into like the golden sky. And I just see how all the colors, they just kind of go. And um, I created this little journaling card put that that goes in there and then this goes in here and then the next page is um, I put a little bit of handmade paper here which is polka dots and I love love polka dots so you'll see a lot of polka dots maybe <laughs> throughout I can't remember how many polka dots I use but usually with everything I create there's some kind of polka dots and um, this is an image that I took and it's Queen Anne's lace, which is which is very common here where I live, um, especially around this time of year. So I just created a little card with that. And then I put a little piece of lace inside, um, paper lace to go with the Queen Anne's lace. And this is just a pretty piece of pattern paper that I have. So yeah, in that pocket. And then on this page is the envelope is um, glued down and created out of an antique French document. And um, I just put a little bit of washi there to hold the envelope closed. And then it just basically opens all the way like that. And then inside I tucked in a beautiful swallow and then some more of the little bird stamps which I love and then this is another piece of the artist trading cards that I showed you a little bit ago and then this is also one which this is another big inspiration for this journal I just love the yellow the roses and a quote stay close to those who feel like sunlight so yeah tucked all those little goodies in there I love this whole envelope concept. So it's such a fun thing to add to a page. So yeah, okay, so then the next page, 
Um, this is also a an image on the Graphics Fairy Premium website. She has a bundle of a lot of different types of roses. And so I did some digital collaging here. I took one of the background images that she had and I just sort of did a digital stamp um, and printed it out. But it's this wreath is just gorgeous. Like I want to use it on everything. And then I put a little silk ruffle here with some buttons on the edge and then this is also part of it is so strange like when I was planning this journal I ca I was sort of rooting through my stash of stuff you know how we have so much stuff we have too much stuff probably if you're watching this video I know that you probably have too much stuff so anyways I was watching or I was rooting through some of my stuff and I came across this book page that I had and it was just amazing the way that the sort of the inspiration behind this journal came together. But this opens up like this. I just sort of glued this down and then you can, you know, flip it out. But the, the, the page is about farewell to the swallows and it's just amazing. Like it has this beautiful little house with the lady and then there's like a whole poem about must you go and leave us alone like oh, just the whole poem I'm not gonna read it to you but um it's just the sweetest sweetest and it really goes with the whole the whole concept of this of this journal and then here I have a little quote be a light and I just tucked in a few little papers this is um from the Graphics Fairy, and then this is some more polka dot paper and some vintage French. This is um, like the letterhead, so pretty. And I love this. This is also some paper that I got from my friend Melissa, it's so pretty. And then this page, I don't really know why this little sweet little ballerina girl needed to be in the golden sunshine journal but she is just so cute and you can find her also on the premium website loved her tucked her right in there and then I made this little tag here and I was really trying to use a lot of the you know just like the really warm colors of the yellows and the pinks and then this is also a printable from the graphics fairy premium site it is um some beautiful script actually i think it's a poem or a letter i'm not exactly sure i didn't read it but it's so pretty and then on this page i put a little pocket here that you can um tuck something in it is a postcard from the graphics fairy and then this beautiful blue paper is also on there that you can print i love love that and this is some antique ledger paper that I had love that and then this is um, a tag that is available on the graphics fairy and it comes already to be printed so it's it's sort of like you print it out cut it out and then fold it over and it becomes this beautiful tag and I loved the yellow and the peach and the blue and then this is some vintage wallpaper that I had and inside the pocket, I tucked, I love this. This is some gorgeous um, French embroidery patterns. Isn't that something? It's just so pretty. It's on both sides. And I don't really, I just love that. I love, love those old, old papers. Especially the French papers. They're so pretty. Okay, and then this page is just some pretty paper that I glued um, with the yellow tones and then this is also like a tuck spot you could tuck something in there um, I, this is just some pretty fabric that I had with some yellow roses just love that and then this paper I love it is from the graphics fairy as well and it, she has um, a lot of different papers that you can print out and use and loved the green and the the roses here so it had to be all on its own and then this is also a printable from the graphics fairy that I printed onto blue printer paper so you can take your 
your printables, like this would just be ordinarily, it would be like, you know, an aged paper color. And I printed onto blue and it just turned out so pretty. And um, like if you live near a Walmart, that's where I got that paper. It's just blue, blue paper from the, um, the section that has all the pens and crayons and whatever. So, so yeah, love, love that blue. And like, it's kind of brighter whenever you buy it, but when you print on it, the yellow of the actual image turns the paper just this beautiful greenish bluish color. And then this page is a postcard from the Graphics Fairy. It's these beautiful swallows and this, oh, I just love this, like flying off into the golden sunlight. <laughs> love that. And then this is also some really beautiful patterned paper that you can print. And then this is the back of that blue paper, which I just printed. I did not tea dye this. I printed on it um, one of the images that are just sort of like the plain end papers. Or I'm not exactly sure what it is, but there's a there's a whole bundle of just plain aged papers. And I have found that I use that a lot, a lot, for especially like for the backs of images. Like for this one, I didn't. I used um, another one. But... Like I tend to back the images a lot with those plain papers from that bundle. And then this is some embossed paper with a beautiful silk ruffle. And this is just some scrapbook paper that I had. I love the blue and the, the pretty roses there. And then this is a pocket. I don't know why I can't seem to find a good, here, maybe this. This is a pocket that you can put down in there. And then this is like, so this scrapbook paper, I just folded it up and then made a, a pocket here. And then this paper is gorgeous. It's also available as a printable on the Graphics Fairy website and it's so pretty. And then I made this tag. Love the colors on that. And then this is another thing I found in my stash when I was going through this journal or looking for things for this journal. And it is from an old book that I have. It's an original. And I love these beautiful doves. That would be really pretty to, to sort of scan that. And then it says, upward still upward, thy pathway be into the sunshine. And then it goes on. But again referencing the sunshine and I just thought it was so amazing that I kept finding all these really pretty things in my in my little stash here that went so well and then on this page this is the center and this is also a printable that you can print from the graphics fairy and these yellow roses are were like a separate image and I kind of layered them together to create um a digital paper and I love love this and I put one of the little swallows there with some lace and it just kind of folds out to be the full size but this would be a really great place to journal right here and then on this page it is some vintage wallpaper um, and these really pretty peachy and yellow tones and then this is also the pocket other side of that pocket and again this paper here is part of the graphics fairy printables beautiful and then this is the back of that paper and then this is an Edith Holden book page that I made into a little envelope and you can just take and tuck little things inside but it just sort of floats throughout the journal but it would be a good place to put um, you know, some little treasures in there. And then this is, oh, another thing. This September page for the Edith Holden book page is Best I Love September's Yellow. And then it just goes on with this sweet little poem and then Autumn of My Soul. I love the, I just love that. And it just fits so well with everything else in the journal. And then this is another paper from the Graphics Fairy Premium that you can print. It is so pretty. Love that design. And then I love this page. So this is 
the other side of that blue paper that I was telling you about earlier. And um, inside, I just made it so that you could flip it out to be the full page. And then this is also a printable from her website and it is beautiful. Love it on there. And then the little swallow here and another ballerina because I loved the blue <laughs> and I'm not exactly sure how these little ballerinas fit in but they are just so cute. I just love them. So yeah, so that tucks on there like that. Oh, and then I wanted to show you, I got these little clips from um, the Tim, their Tim Holtz clips. Aren't they just so cute? I'm going to be using these for everything. Love how little they are. They work so good in a journal. And then this is a little bit more of that fabric that was on the front cover. And I put a little feather for all the little birds that are in here. And then this is also a printable from the graphics fairy and I just made it a little journaling card um, I'll show you what I was saying like so on the back of this I used one of the more plain papers that she has so she has a lot of just aged paper so if you really didn't want to take all the time to tea stain everything which can take a lot of time if you want a vintage style journal um, you could print those plain papers and I definitely um, use that a lot with this journal and then there's some more of that um, vintage ledger and then this is also another digital collage that I did again I used that plain background and I just put one of the elements that she has on there um, on the page and I love wreaths and I love bows so it was just I thought it looked really pretty and then this is the other side of that script paper. And then I made this little card with more of that green paper that I love so much. And then I put some embossed paper and some antique paper there, but it's just a little journaling card. And then this pocket is, um, this is actually from a, an old card, again, that I had sort of taken apart and I used another part of the card, but. I loved these colors and I thought they went really good. So I just sort of extended out that page there. And then on this page, um, again, there is something here that I found in my collection. I was, I was looking for a piece of sheet music and this just jumped out at me and it's sunshine in the soul. <laughs> and it's just so, so sweet. And I love how it just goes with everything. And I just tucked in a little bird card printable from the premium website as well and this is very fragile but it's just really sweet and then I made a little tuck spot up here with some blue silk and some polka dots um, this page is just some layering of some script and this beautiful paper that you can print from the graphics fairy and then this is a piece of fabric that I just love the colors so I just kind of layered layered it to make a page and then here is just some pretty paper that I had and some antique ledger from 1916 and then I took this word golden from a vintage card that I had it was a, a golden anniversary card and I just took the word and put it there and then this is a vintage card love the colors I just thought it went so well with with the journal and um, it would be kind of fun to take this apart and use the the actual frame here like this you know I mean I love the little house inside but it would be really nice to if you wanted to take it apart and use it and then it has like this gold foil inside which is so pretty and, but I do really love that little house. So makes me feel like warm and cozy. So that is that. And then this is some more of those yellow roses that are the same that I used in the, let's find where is the center? Where did the center go? Here we go. So these yellow roses here 
are the same as this so I just took that and printed those to make just um, a, like a little piece of stationery so that would be a good place for journaling and then this is a beautiful embossed page with some blue rough silk ruffles and then this is a pretty quote whatever makes you feel the sun from the inside out chase that I love that and then a tag that I made and what I did was I had watercolored onto a tag and then I just put some vintage dotted Swiss fabric over top and then the back just has some embossed paper and then this is also a printable from the graphics fairy that I just printed and I thought it would be a really nice place to do some journaling on because I felt like the book was kind of heavily decorated but I do still think there's a lot of places to journal in here so so yeah so that's that page and then this is the very last page and I just left that blank and then this is a gorgeous piece of vintage wallpaper I mean it is just stunning like vintage wallpaper is so pretty like it just looks like it's hand painted to me it's just so so pretty there's just nothing like it it's one of my very favorite things to use in my art so so that is the end and I hope that you guys liked this flip through. I loved creating this journal. I feel so, such an attachment to this journal. I'm not sure. Um, just love the message of it and the, the reference to, you know, sort of being a golden light to the world. And, you know, just, just to remember that, you know, there's good and happy in, in everything. And, um, so yeah, so I hope that you really enjoyed my flip through and thank you so much for watching and I'm excited to be on the design team for this season and I'm looking forward to next month. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to create, but um, there is just such an amazing assortment of images to choose from. So it makes it really fun and it's so inspirational to kind of like browse around in, in the website and, and pick and choose from. From everything so I hope you guys have um, a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video